Well, welcome everybody. Sports Chasers Podcast. Once again, uh, yo, we're doing it again. Another week, another week, and it's just three of us this time. Uh, no uh, moderator tonight, <laughs> so he's letting the he's letting the kids run the show today, and uh, no moderator. And we missing DA tonight, but tonight we got James E. Warren on the on the mic. We got Mike Millie on the mic, gentlemen. Welcome, guys. What up? What up? What up? What's going on, what's, Sports Chasers? All right, Sports Chasers podcast. Once again, Mike Millie, what's good, man? Welcome back. What up? What up? One more, my J crowd. It's all fun because the rabbit got the gun tonight. Ain't no moderators. We doing what the hell we want. That's right. All day, <laughs> every day, man. Right. Hey guys, yo, man. Uh, hey, we decided tonight um, to go tonight instead of last night. We was gonna go last night, but uh, we made a, a collective decision to go to tonight, being that the fact that we really we wanted to talk about the Knicks, but the Lakers was playing, and we was like, well, we had a feeling that. It was going to be a wrap last night. And guess what, folks? It was a wrap last night. It was all all wrapped up. 113-100, if I'm not, if I stand to be corrected, but I think I'm, I believe I'm right. 113-100. Lakers is gone. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. But before we go into the Lakers, folks, hey, we're going to do a quick rundown, okay? Let me tell you, because this show tonight is going to be all NBA because that's the most important topic tonight, as we feel that we must deal with. But since we are sports chasers and we talk about everything, we're going to talk about it real quick, like this. NHL playoffs. E, what you got? Yo, man, I'm going to say this. Like I said in the last part, I was, uh, you know, having a hard time between uh, Nashville and Carolina. Carolina got that, got that tail up out of there, and now they are – Looking like um, they they need to they need to tighten up because right now they're down two one to the Lightning, who is no joke. Um, actually, that's who I I can't I think I picked them to win it all. So um, they need right. to tighten up, man. So um, and and the hometown Islanders, you know, I mean it was mostly Rangers back in our day, but you know we rooted for the the Rangers, the Islanders, and the Devils. The the Islanders is down two to one to them Bruins. The Bruins look tough as I don't know what. But you know, we'll, we'll see where that goes, man. And and on the flip okay. side, real quick, um, you got the Golden Knights uh, down 2-0 to uh, Colorado. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Look like Golden Knights might be out of gas. Gotcha. And last but not least, the Montreal Canadiens is up one nothing to the Winnipeg Jets. Mm, Winnipeg. And um, yeah, and there's some big, Ooh. big, big topics with that one. Just real quick, I forget. I cannot pronounce the man's name, so I'm, I know I messed it up. I don't know if you could do it better than me. But uh, this guy, if y'all seen the video, this guy from Winnipeg came straight in the last minute of the game. Straight f- ice. I guess y'all, it would be full court, but it's full ice. About 200 feet. Inside, 200 feet. 200 feet. Full Roughly. sprint. Full glide, whatever you want to call it, on the ice. And absolutely shattered this man. Shattered, I think um, murdered the man. That's what he looked like. He looked like he was out. I mean, he was down. He wasn't moving to nothing, man. It was a scary sight. You know, everybody talking about, I ain't going to say everybody. Most people talking about, oh, this is hockey. You got to keep your head up. Come on, dog. I I understand, you know, like baseball, you want to police yourself, this and that, the third. But there was no call for that, man. In the last minute of a game, there was was no call for that at all, man. What's your thoughts, Mike? Honestly, I mean, hockey do what hockey do, so... Uh, they enjoying it, but yeah, that shit is outrageous. If you lost, it's over. I ain't saying not give no effort, but come on, murder is murder. Like, bro, why? Why? Yeah, why I mean, why that was that was a that was a hell of a career like that. That was a hellacious hit. I mean, um, dude got four game a four game suspension, if I'm not mistaken. And um, you know, hey, you know, it's funny how in other sports that behavior is not even tolerated. However, hockey. It's probably one, about one of the lone sports that allows the they players to uh, police themselves. So it's a good thing that the NHL took took him out for four games because I believe they would have got him and and, tight, and tightened him up for you know real good. Oh yeah, he would have got stretched off. The, he oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And, and uh, just, so, just, you know, just like, to clarify, my, my fault. 
just to clarify, the dude's name from Winnipeg who delivered the hit was Mark Sheffield, Sheffield. So, yeah. I'm tearing it up. I'm sorry. And sorry. Uh, and the guy for uh, the Canadians who got hit was Jake Evans, man. Jake, Jake, I hope Jake from State Farm. Yo. Well, not him. But hopefully you got a. Uh, hopefully you you, Yo. you have a, a quick recovery, man. Yeah, prayers for him, man, his family, man, because that was that was uh, that was really ridiculous. Um, you know, but uh, NHL did the right thing, suspended him, and uh, you know, and the show moves on. Uh, real quick, we're going to transition. MLB, hey, I, it's still what is it? What is it? We're in June. Like I said, it doesn't get good until. Uh, July. So right now, real quick, the top teams, Tampa Bay in the American League, White Sox, Chicago White Sox, and in the Oakland Athletics in the American League, National League, the Mets, the Cubs, and the Giants are your teams. Now, NFL, OTAs. Mike, do you got anything? I don't have nothing for the NFL. NFL is, you know, other than Julio and they talk about Aaron Rodgers, but there's nothing to really talk about for uh, Aaron Rodgers. If they Rodgers trade who- And Julio. Go ahead. If they send Julio to to uh, to uh, to the Seattle like they talking, that'd be crazy. Seattle just be they just be Atlanta Northwest now. Yeah. Still no damn defense. So I mean, facts. Julio better try to find somebody with a defensive team or something because ain't no way. Where's he really gonna go? Who's really gonna pay all that for him? They trying right. to shorten wide receivers now, so it is what it is. I, I only see honestly, I only see one place Julio going that makes the most sense to me. Now, Mike, you may disagree because it's your team that I'm thinking about. They need a receiver. He's a receiver. He's one of the top five, six, seven, one, you know, maybe three when he's healthy. Um, mm-hmm. What do you say about it, Mike? It would be nice, but are we going to be able to get him the ball like he needs the ball? That's my only issue. Like, our O-line supposed to be better this year than it was last year because the O-line was a big problem on the low. But, I mean, I don't even see how we got the cap space for him, so – I mean, it's a nice dream, but you know, True. I'm not getting my hopes up. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think. <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think Baltimore is even one of the um, the choices. To to be honest with you, I, I think there's uh, two other teams that I'm not even uh, uh, sure. I mean, you know, they talk about Seattle, but I, I don't. I, I don't that even understand sense. how they how they gonna do that. So it doesn't doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't see Julio, but it's definitely known Julio wants to be out of there. So, you know, we'll stay tuned to that. And um, and Julio Jones, the Julio Jones saga will continue uh, until they figure out what they want to do with him. So, I mean, he don't want to be there. So why do you keep somebody who don't want to be there? Obviously, you want to try to, they're going to try to find some teams. And um, Unless yeah. you're the Houston Texans. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, but that's a whole other story. And, Does yeah. that mean they're going to find some dirt? Julio next. <laughs> How many chicks? <laughs> Julio, start paying them off now, brother. Start paying them uh, off now. Wait, we got 35, 40, 50 chicks. Yeah, yeah, man. Anyway, man, we not going to get, we not going to do the TMZ thing. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, hey, so that's it for, uh, no, I'm sorry. And we got one more on topic. Uh, real quick, Naomi Osaka, um, mental health issues. Uh, she doesn't. She has a issue with speaking to the media, whatever the case is. Pretty serious, you know. Uh, mental health is serious. Take it really serious. However, um, you know, when you're doing business, you know, um, either you know, well, since you have it now, you, I mean, you know, you got to figure out a way how to, you know, you still you need the media. The media is is, is a necessary evil. As much as some of these guys hate. The media and it is a necessary evil, just like anything else in this world. It is. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, she, you know, hopefully she'll get you know past it. She'll get some treatment, whatever the case is. Uh, I think she did the right thing. She pulled herself out. She made people aware. Um. So you know, shout outs to her. Hopefully she gets you know she'll get get herself together and she'll be back. She's still young, I believe. It was she's only 23, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? 20, 20, uh, something to that fact. I think it's twenty three. I think she's she's a young 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 girl, a young lady. She said she's twenty three. Uh, right. October sixteenth is her birthday. So yeah, yeah twenty three. So you know, um, she did the right thing as far as I'm concerned. Y'all got any thoughts on that? 
I respect her right to not have to talk to them, just like Marshawn. Would you rather me not talk, or would you rather me give you something for y'all to demonize me with? If I don't talk, then so be it. Like, that is what it is. I mean, it's always some way for... If you're a good reporter, there's a way to get a story. There's always a story. Yeah. You know, stop going for the easy part. Go talk to somebody you wouldn't talk to. And, and I think if she really had, and if she's whatever she's going through, I hope for her the best. I hope she get right. Yeah, and I think these athletes gotta learn how to. I mean, I know they're young. Some of them are young. They gotta. They just gotta learn how to deal with the media. <laughs> they gotta learn how to deal with it. And I know they they go through these classes because some of these some of these guys are just looking for some, a story. Um, and you gotta understand where they where they going and how they dig it. You, you don't have to answer every question and every stupid question. If you think it's stupid. Hey, it's nothing wrong with saying no comment. Next question. I'm not answering that. Period. True. You know? Yeah, I you. think she did the right thing. Um, echoing what y'all said, um, and I hope she gets everything. You know, all the help that she needs. I just think this is a, a different thing when when dealing with um, when dealing with mental health. It's not as easy as you know um, not answering the question or whatever. It's a it's an anxiety that comes over you. And dealing in the last couple of years, I've, I've myself have dealing with some anxieties or whatever. So not in that aspect, but I do get it. It's like it's a it's an overpowering feeling. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and dealing with, with with the media and all that other stuff, it's, it's a different take for her. Um, right. and like you said, it is part of the business. It is. I don't know how it is in the sport of tennis. I don't know if it's contractual or whatever, whatever. Obviously, it is because they find it and all this other stuff. Yeah. However, I think, too, that these sports um if if it is documented keyword documented mm -hmm. that said player regardless of whoever they are if it's documented that they are having issues then i think that they should be um um exempt until they get these issues under control or they mm -hmm. have somebody in to speak for them or something like that i mean there's things there's ways of getting around stuff like you that. can get around it and uh, yeah absolutely you can get around it and uh you know She's a professional, so you know um, she's getting the help. They could get around it. Um, you know, it's, I, I'm just glad that she brought it out because mental health is a serious thing, and um, I'm glad that they are. If the if, that the league is even working with her, with, with her, so they are working with her um, to you know figure out another alternative route of what they need to do, but. Um, Shout outs to her for putting it in the forefront and admitting being it because it's not hard. People, you know, you know, admitting that, you know, you have some some type of uh, issue, you know, and believe it or not, the issue that she has, many people have it. So it's, it's not she's not the first and she's not going to be the last. And, you know, so uh, what I think the tennis world should do is support. And so far they have um, a lot of people has reached, reached out to her. Um, and so far, so so on, so far. Go ahead. What I would like to add too is that I just hope that in in the future that um I just hope that it's not just because she's a star. You know what I'm saying? She's an up and coming star in 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 the sport. And if she wasn't, would she still receive this type of love, so to speak? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing on her, or whatever. But we do well, see sometimes it's fake love out here. So that's you know, that's the you, society. If you, if, you, if you somebody right, if you somebody on lesser on a on a on a well, I shouldn't say lesser, but if you're um not as far up on a totem pole as say a rising high, star high, like high yourself, profile, yeah, right, right, mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that should be across the board. That's one thing that we always say here on the sports chasers. Whatever it is, it should be level all the way across, regardless of who you are, whether you the janitor or you all the way or you the CEO or the owner. It doesn't matter. That's the way I live, man. Everybody deserves the respect, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you earn it, demand it, command it. That's it. You know, all of it. So Facts. that's that's respect. You respect everybody. I, I think that's what I left off at on um, last week, man. Yo, simple respect. So, you know, everybody should get it across the board. I don't care if you're high profile, you're not. You just, you know, you you just regular person. Everybody deserves it. So, you know, you know. So, again, once again, shout out to her. Mike, you got anything with that? I said it all. Shout out to her. Hope she get the, the. I hope she get the help she need and bounce back and win some more titles. Cause she be out there killing. She be getting it. Yo, yeah. she, she, Serena. she's serious. She put that work in for real. Hey, yeah, she's serious. So 
listen, we at the 15 minute mark, and I, that this was perfect. We hit everything, man. So the boss, the boss is gonna love this, man. We did everything. We did everything. So now it's the NBA. NBA got our full attention this week. The I wanted we was gonna start over to the Knicks. Knicks have to take a seat, and we we got to bring King James to the forefront. And yes, the Los Angeles Lakers. Yo, this today they lost last night one thirteen one hundred, and today right. has been nothing but excuses. Uh, you know. You know, he didn't have the horses. He didn't have uh, this. He didn't have that. But meanwhile, this very guy was the same guy throwing the ball away, looking uninterested in the game. So, you know, at what point do we look at this this guy? I mean, people still was thinking when up until this series, was still saying that this guy, they act like this guy was the 22, 26, 24 version of LeBron James and not up to speed that this guy is 36 since they won't keep on saying he's 36 years old. He's 18 years in the league, blah, blah, blah. Well, it he's was hurt. Good. He's this, AD's hurt. You know, yo, listen, dog, you picked all this. You was the chef. You picked all of this. You got the groceries, and it, it didn't work. And you want to go back to that bubble, the one that he said that was the, such the, the hardest thing, and we all know that bubble was for Gazy. Why? The Miami Heat, gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, whoa, whoa. Mike, I'm going to let you have the whoa, floor. Whoa, 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 but that, whoa, whoa. that bubble was for Gazy, and most people, most people would agree. Go ahead. Let's stick to LeBron. We'll get to Miami ahead, later. Go. Okay. <laughs> e, you want to go first? No, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. I, I'm still in thought here. Okay. I mean, the like Los I Angeles said, Lakers. Go ahead. <laughs> got the floor. Like I said, the open the show is all fun now that the rabbit got the gun. Like that was the perfect quote. I'm happy they won. I'm happy. I'm happy for Devin Booker. I can shout stop out to Devin him. Booker. Yes. Shout out to Devin Booker because Devin Booker was out there looking, looking goatly. He was looking, and he was effective. That's what made it even better. Yeah, he was hitting shots. He wasn't just flinging them. A lot of these dudes now, they get you forty, but they be flinging, be thirty five shots. He did it effectively, mm-hmm. and like this is all Phoenix. All Phoenix needed was a point guard, and the way they've been playing defense all series, Phoenix defense was moving. They was really out there playing good defense. And, and shout out to DeAndre Ayton because he did not get talked about enough mm-hmm. this series. He was out there hooping. And they say he kind of lazy on defense. He was out there hooping like he realized the realness of the situation. And Phoenix did as they were supposed to. Mm-hmm. Because Lord knows everybody, they wanted this to go to seven. They wanted LeBron to eke it out and give him another storyline. Devin Booker did what he was supposed to do last night. That mm-hmm. was slay the beast and go yeah. and get out of there. And make sure, like, because when that lead started going down, people thought they was going to come back. But Devin Booker shut that shit down. Said, if mm-hmm. I got to drag y'all, we mm-hmm. going to the next round. I will say um, Devin Booker, look, he looked very Kobe-esque, very MJ-esque last night. And people, let's understand that from the era that I come from, that is what makes you a GOAT, okay? I'm not saying that LeBron's way of playing is not effective anyway or what have you. But when you have a killer instinct player, that 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 is what sets them apart from everybody else on the floor. When you see he he seen he felt um, the Lakers coming back. He he felt the tide starting to turn. He said, like Mike said, no, nope, no, nope, we're gonna put this to an end right now, right now. And the one player that has not get gotten enough credit, in my opinion, is Chris Paul. Chris Paul, in my eyes, should be the MVP. I, shout out to Jokic and everybody else that was in the running and all this other stuff. And 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 it'll probably go to Jokic. I don't have no problem with that. But for Chris Paul, everybody talks about LeBron going to this team, this team making them better. Look at Chris Paul's resume. He didn't go to a Miami with, with, to join a big three or anything like that. Okay, When he went to the Oklahoma City Thunder, everybody thought his career was over. 
and he went to the cellar. Mm-hmm. They went to the damn playoffs that year. So shout out to Chris Paul. He was hurt, but guess what? He was still out there. He had 12 assists. He only had eight points, but that's fine. He was still effective. And, and, and late in that fourth quarter, he hit a couple of bu- buckets just to get him over too. So, um, but getting to Mr. LeBron James. Talk about LeBaron. it. Talk about LeBaron. And listen. Talk um, about it. You may be the greatest player of this era. No, I will say you are the greatest player of this era. I was about to say, I would you sure, give it you to him. sure you sure did not show it last night. You had no class whatsoever. This whole series. Go ahead. Yo, man. You you joke, you joke with, with, with Jay Crowder and all this other stuff or whatever, whatever. And Jay Crowder came back and gave it back to you right on your ass. And you had nothing for him. You had nothing for nobody. Okay. You look tired, you look fatigued, and guess what? You spend a million dollars a year on that body. Oh, it's the bubble, it's the quick turnaround, dot, 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 dot. Well, you know what? Uh, Frank the, the Funky, as, as my man Michael Rappaport, well, I ain't gonna say my man, but as Michael Rappaport said uh, on social media, Frank the Flunky Vogel should have did a better job during games to stretch minutes out for his guys. Um, people people killed uh, Greg Popovich, but when he did it in San Antonio, I understood it. You had you had aging you had uh, aging nucleus there that you tried to keep fresh. I understood it. When guys is 27, 28 years old, get your ass up and play on the on the court, B. Come on, mm-hmm. man. You getting paid millions of dollars for people to come see you, and you doing this nonsense. But yeah. it is what it is. I just feel like King James, you got your your just dessert. You out here, you want to be the chef. You want to go out here and buy the, buy the damn lettuce and the tomatoes and everything else, all your <laughs> ingredients and shit. You didn't check the damn, you didn't check the expiration date on most of this shit. No, no, now look didn't. at you. Now you want to throw up all this stuff and you want to blame it on 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 whole food store. No, no. You bought it, sir. You should have checked it before you left the store. And mind you now, LeBron was 20, 29 points last night, 11 of 26, 3 of 10 for three-point range. Yeah, hey. Uh, People will say that's a LeBron James stat line. Nine rebounds, seven assists. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he didn't have nothing to go with it. Showed it gave you 20. Why Caldwell do Pope, these... Caldwell why Pope do... actually shot seven of 11 for 19 points. Why do they start him? Why don't they start Horton Tucker? Like, what is the point of starting Where's Kyle Caldwell Kuzma? Pope? We're not uh, going to talk about him because <laughs> we already know about him. Why don't they start Talon Horton Tucker? I never understood why they don't. And he's he's a very he's a decent player. Um, coming out of the G League, he came. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was the G League, but uh, he, mm-hmm. he he's definitely a a heck of a player. He's he's not he a bad player. Bucket. He yeah. did buckets and he played defense. He, played he defense. do everything. Just play him. He do everything. Yep. Oh, we need Caldwell Pope for defense. Caldwell Pope is what I call. If J. Austin if didn't know how to play basketball, he would be Contavious Caldwell Pope. That's what uh, he is. He's just just there. Like, what are you doing? Well, Caldwell Pope had 19. I mean, let's see. I mean, you look at all right, with no AD. 29 from LeBron, 20 from Schroeder, 19 from Caldwell Pope. I mean. Can I ask y'all a question? Go ahead. Where is Mr. Where was Mr. Drummond? Was he was 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 he on vacation early? Yo, I, I don't this see mega nothing. guy that I, they got during you know right right after the All Star break. He was supposed to be that main piece. Who was supposed to bring them together. What happened to him? Why dog, didn't he, lean on him? He didn't even play. No, he bad didn't. coaching. Mark Gasol only had one shot. One one shot. So you know, again, this is a coaching ish. This is a coaching thing. It's coaching, and it's LeBron. You know, they, you know, this guy's 36 years old. He's not 26. And again, I think when you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Because but, he's but, 36 right? and he's supposed to have been the MVP of the league. And he's doing it better than Jordan ever did when he was 36. That's the narrative know. that they, they want to tell you. That's the narrative they want to tell us. But we are smarter than that. We know better. But go ahead. Mike, you said. I mean, I don't get it. Why wouldn't you play drumming? Why would you have Marcus who's out there who's 400 years old, switching off on the point guard, looking lost? Like, like Chris Paul had him one play. Chris Paul missed the shot, but I was like, boy, he got this man on skates. Like, Marcus don't even look like Marcus no more. 
And I don't see how it's hard to play Andre Drummond. I don't see how it's hard to use the big man. I don't understand it. I mean, you had to get not. some. You had to get some. You only have 14 points in the first quarter. 14. They outscored you 36 to 14 in the first quarter. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, you know, and Anthony Davis had again, he was hurt, man. He had no business, no business coming out. But this is the thing. He came out because of the pressure. The pressure was saying that he was street clothes Davis. So the pressure was, man, I got to get out there and make it look like that. I, you know, I could get out there and play, but it's, it, you, you going to end up hurting yourself in the long run. And guess what? LeBron ain't got no love for you. I'm going to tell you straight up. LeBron ain't got no no love or no loyalty towards you. You could believe that if you want to, but you just, you think you your guys might be friends and, you know, LeBron, he got no loyalty to you. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy packs his bags and says, you know, I got a player. He got a some type of player option in this deal and, and, and gets out of there somehow. I don't know. I haven't looked at his contract. I don't know. I'm just saying. Don't hold me literally, people. I'm just saying because this is what his track record is. He he'll, he'll if it ain't working out for him, he'll pack his bags and find a way to get out out of here. And now he's 36. He know he's on the decline after this. The clock is ticking. Okay. So as far as I'm concerned, you already been in the league for in LA for three years. And you only got one chip, this imaginary chip, because that, that I really don't even count it. Everybody else could go walk around counting. I still think he got three championships and he barely got that. I'm not going to take it away. So if you want to say four, he got four. My book is three. I don't count that bubble stuff, that uh bubbling brown sugar. We that. That wasn't come on, man. It wasn't it wasn't even real, man, because half the players didn't even play. He had the option to opt out, but he thought this was the time to get his little chip, this little, this little championship, and he got it. And it was it was cheaping because everybody knows it was COVID, and nobody, everybody knows it was COVID, and everybody used COVID for the excuse. So listen, nobody almost all the players didn't play during the uh during the season last year. So, you know, come on. Uh, I'm not really going for it. I'm glad. I'm glad that you know he gets out of here. The Lakers are gonna have some problems because they're gonna have to retool. I don't know what that with that lineup that they got. You know, they they acting like uh, Christopher Caruso. What, what's what's this guy's name? Is it Alex? Alex Caruso. <laughs> Chris, Alex Christopher. Whatever. Uh, come on, dog. He is not. He's okay. They. They did him just like they did the dude from uh, um, when he was with Cleveland. What's the uh, different, uh, what's the guy when he was with Cleveland? Y'all know what? No, 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 no. The, the player. Del, 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 Del. Del. Oh, Del. This guy. That's what Chris Caruso is. He, he's Delhi again. That's all he got. Now nah, Caruso got some ups. He just need to. Uh, yeah, he just Del. need to be able to play. See, they don't let him play like he could play. Miss me with all the ups because them ups ain't getting you no points, and he ain't getting no points last night. How many points he had last night? Jordan Jordan Clarkson had ups. Um, yeah. Let's see, Brandon ups. Ingram. Ups. Uh, this guy said ups. Ups. Nah, like I feel two like two points, Caruso, Mike. Two I points. I feel like Caruso not in the right system, like because you know they got yeah, he's in a, he just not in the right place for him. He actually got some talent. He just not in the right place. Okay. I feel like he's a good six man for somebody that actually would let him do him. Okay. But, yeah, well, LeBron, you got your man. Um, my man, my man, what's my man? Uh what's my man with the praise? Uh Harrell. Harrell. What happened to him? Bad coach. He played. Hold on, he got, he got nine million dollars. He cheaping his he cheapened his <laughs> brand. He got jerked. So first yeah. of all, he comes to the Lakers. He gets. He drunk. played a total of seven minutes. Last okay. Week. So now he's not going to get the money. Now if yeah. he's looking for money, he done messed himself up because he thought he's going to get chipped this year. That's what it all to, is. They bought the Nerlens Noel. Him. Yep. So now he's going. He done messed up his money. I don't know how long. I don't even know how long he signed for. Was it one year or two year deal? I think it's a one year. Oh. Yeah, he done Nerlens Noel this. Summer. Okay. So it's now, over. so now what? He could have got mega money. That I think the. Before he signed, and he settled for nine million. He could, he was more than a he was more worth more than a nine million dollar player. But he cheapened himself just to go with this guy. This guy, this is what this guy does, man. He makes you guys take 
the lesser money while he's pocketing and going to the bank, all the way to the bank and laughing at all you guys. Ask Carmelo Anthony. Well, no, no, oh, I'll take that back. Not Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony was a smart one. He said, I'm not even messing with you. I'm going to get my paper. Shout outs to Carmelo Anthony. And shout out to Dwayne saying? Wade because he tried it a second go around. He said, yeah. nah, this ain't yeah. it, dog. Get me out yeah. of here. Mm -hmm. So, you and, know. And just to let you know, D, um, this is the first of LeBron's uh, contract extension that he signed. Uh, it was a two-year, $85.6 million deal. So this upcoming season, he'll be 37, making $44.4 million in the 22-23 NBA basketball season. Question to you guys. You think this you're going to pay a 37-year-old male uh, basketball player $47 million? Is he going to get you a chip? Is he guaranteed to get you a chip next year? You tell me. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to be a realist. 37 years old, Mike. I wouldn't I see, do it. I see you thinking. Go ahead. No, I, I that wouldn't do it. Out. And I don't think no, none of us would do it. But somebody in the NBA will because they trying to get, you know, the COVID hit. The COVID is almost over. They trying to get butts in stands and all this other stuff. And for that alone, let's be clear, when he's playing, he is an attraction, regardless of wherever he goes. He probably just won't go to Orlando because, you know, he probably got PTSD. When, when the situation is good for him. You got to understand, this guy is just calculated when the situation is right. So when if he goes somewhere, he's got to make sure he has to have top of the line stuff. Because other than that, he can't do it by himself. And then when he when he wins, the credit goes all to him. Nobody gets no credit. It's all about him. When he loses, he doesn't have no help. Mike, go ahead. All right, now, like. It depends on the situation. Like, if I was Golden State and I had cash space and I could sign a 37-year-old LeBron James, like, hell yeah, I'll pay that. But for anybody having to build their franchise around that 37-year-old, hell no. I'm not paying 37 <laughs> But like, what about Chris Paul? You seen Chris Paul? Chris Paul, they saying he going to opt out and try to get a $100, $100 million dollar three extension. Years. I, I did see that. Yeah, he is crazy. It's Chris. Because he's so not playing like he, he hooping. But he's not no damn LeBron, and I'm not giving LeBron that at that age. I'm not giving nobody that type of money when I know they are susceptible of getting hurt and injured easily. Yo, my man Wesley Matthew just elbowed him slightly, and it it did something to him, and he was rolling around thriving in pain. I'm not going for it. I'm not. I'm. I don't trust it, so I wouldn't. So. uh you Chris know, Paul must have did something to somebody in the past life that nobody knows about. Because there's no way Chris that Paul. he, me too, it's, it don't him. make sense. But I, I can't, sense. I can't rock with that and and pay him a hundred. He's crazy. I, I mean, I, I, I God bless him. I, I don't want to stop nobody it, from getting money. You right, E. He'll get it. I don't want to stop nobody from getting money. The uh, he's a great team? player. No, that, I, no, I was just about to say that. No. Mike. As long as he does not no. come to the no. Middle, no. Yeah. no, 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 no. I told um, somebody that the other day. I said the Knicks can't do nothing no. smart without doing something dumb in between. No, they've been no. they've been going strong for too long. And we're gonna get to the Knicks in a minute. But <laughs> listen, no, no. Don't put that in. Okay, the universe, don't, don't put do that, that in. No, no. The Knicks. The Knicks will be doing. Right. The Knicks have been. I'm not gonna go. It's about LeBron. This anything else about the Lakers? No, um, anything, I'm the Lakers. anything Lakers, Lakers. I'm just happy. Here. I'm just happy. Yes, uh, let me let me move up. I am just happy. My name is James Eric Warren, the angry one of this podcast, and I am happy. I'm not angry. I am happy that the Elated. Lakers are out of here. I don't have to talk about them no more until the off season when they figure out who they going who they going to trade or who they going to let go and who they going to bring back. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't even care about the man movie. And that's another thing. No, I'm not yeah. even going to do that. I'm not even going to no, do that. Go ahead, go ahead. We got time. We got time yo, for the bullshit. Yo, let me ask y'all real quick out there. You know, I'm going to ask y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the to the Sports Chasers uh, uh, audience, right? What great player do you know who's ousted in the first round of anything plugs his movie and his other endeavors that is off the court? During a post game, right after, not the day after, not two days after, right after the game, have a post game uh, during when they asked him about the Olympics. He said, "Nah, I think I'm gonna play with the Moonstar." Dot 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 dot. Mike, you want to go first, or you want me to go? 
I mean, if there's a podcast finals and we lose in the first round, can I plug my music or is that the same thing? <laughs> well, if, if you was Jay Z, if you was Jay Z doing that, I'm gonna look at you funny. But, you know, I mean, you, you up and coming. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I he gotta, gotta get it. I mean, he gotta get it in. I mean. I mean, I ain't like, trying. On, I ain't gonna James. I'm Everybody not reading too. Coming out. I mean, I guess I'm not reading too much into it. It's like whatever. I mean, they lost. What else he was gonna say? He, you know, he, you know, LeBron not LeBron don't like giving out his real feelings about stuff because he get ostracized. Like remember when they was hating on him in the finals and he was like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna be out. <laughs> you remember that? Yo, yeah, so, we remember that. Mm-hmm. That's why he's that a, was hilarious that's, too. That's but, why he's a sucker. But go ahead, go ahead. I, to me, it's just I just that's I mean, some I sucker shit that. he did. He, but go ahead. In this case, I just feel like he just threw the movie out there. I mean, what can they say? They lost. He walked off the court a little bit early. A he knew bit. he knew. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. But he knew people was going to roast him. Just don't give him nothing else to talk about. I feel him in that sense. Just yeah. like what we lost. All right. Let me tell you about uh, LeBron Kravitz. That's what he looked like last night. Like Lenny Kravitz on, uh, on with all them chains and, and, and that, that damn, uh, whatchamacallit. Let me tell you about this guy. Go ahead, dude. This guy, Eric, you said son. This guy is a selfish dude, man. Yo, you they can say whatever you want. I'm talking about on the court. I'm talking about him. People do not call me. Do not tell me about his school and his philanthropy. We know about that. Please, I don't want to hear. And it's great things that he does. Thank you. We're we, not going to sit here and say like it's not but, great, but we're not talking about that. Go ahead. Dude. We're not talking about that. Talk about this guy. This guy. This guy who sits. Feet away from everybody else on the bench. You, what are you, you going to tell me about COVID now? This is this. He sits way across the uh, the arena. This guy. This is the same guy. He, yo, this guy is all about him. It's it. So you know, I what do I guess what do I what do, what should we expect from this guy? You know what I'm saying? Seen it in Cleveland. It's not like you know, this is this is who he is. And you know, it, it's not going to stop until he finishes his career. And you know, you know how I feel about this guy. I I told you, man, I, I've been sick of him for quite some time. And it's not because it's hate. It's because I don't like the way uh, the game. You know, I don't like, and it's pretty much probably more of these fans that 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 go behind them. Is and, and to quote my man. Kwame Brown is the go along, get along gang because if they like you, they they like they just stay with you and they they don't see no wrong that this guy does. It's just it's no objectivity at all with this dude when it comes to this dude. But you know, hey, um, it is what it is. I'm glad this is the last. No, I mean, ain't gonna say that because they they're they gonna find a way how to bring. He's gonna find a way how to get himself in the in the news. His and name's gonna be it. all throughout all summer yeah. long. He called them the get along gang. Yo, why he don't got a show? <laughs> the go along, get along gang. That's what the, the it's, it's not, it's not that's it's mad just, old of the country, but that's fire. Why he don't have a show? He does, he has his own uh, um, well, he YouTube got his own YouTube. So, you know, uh, shout outs to Kwame Brown, man, because you know, again, uh, he's saying a lot of real stuff, and um, I'm not gonna get on a tangent, let me stay focused, but anyway. Um, shout out to that brother. He's doing good things. So, you know, I applaud him for all that he's doing. Yo, enough of the Lakers. They are out of here. Shout out to the uh, Phoenix Hail Suns. to the for King. The, yeah, shout out to the Phoenix Suns for getting the Lakers out of here. First time that the um, LBJ, Le, uh, LeBron James, has been ousted in the first round. That's quite, that is quite something. So you must give it up to him for that one. So, you know, uh, kudos to him. On that, he, I mean, at the end of the day, he's going to go down as having a stellar career. So he's just not my number one. He might be number two or three, just not my number one. So he's one of the that, greatest. He's one of the greatest. Far. That by that far. what we say that is one thing that we can all agree on. Yes, absolutely. He is one of the he's, absolute greatest. He's absolutely one of the greatest. So, you know, so I'm going to leave that on a high note because I don't want nobody thinking that we just a uh, whole bunch of hating asses and we just, you know, no, we give people credit and props when credit and props is due. Now, with that said, moving <laughs> on right along to my New York Knicks. Get up and get along to the Ooh. Knicks. You know what? Get up and get out is what, what they should have been saying for them. <laughs> Yo, the Knicks, I don't know what the hell I was watching in these five games. 
because this was that this was not the team that I seen all year long. I'm gonna get you E. This was not the team. However, I knew they had weaknesses and I knew they had little things with them, but to show up the way they did, I would Julius Randle, I'm not even again, I had a couple of days to Wusa to relax and calm down. And I'm not gonna throw away my man Julius Randle, even though he had the worst, absolute worst series I have ever seen from a guy who got most improved player and then turns around and has the <laughs> absolute worst series ever. One of them, okay? But you know, the Knicks, uh shout out to Trey Young for becoming a villain again for for actually what he did was excite the garden crowd the garden crowd misses that that villain guy that that adversary we haven't had one because we suck for quite some time i mean our uh adversary at the time when we had mellow you i guess you would say the miami heat at the time during that during that that little bit of run but we haven't but that buzz that feeling I mean, COVID was a well, one thing, and then when the you know when the fans started coming back to the building, the building was electric. That 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 was a good feeling. Brought me back to the days in the '90s. So, Knicks is out. Trey Young got them out of there. What you what say you guys? How you feel about the New York Knicks? What should they do? What are the concerns? Julius Randle, the uh, Derrick Rose, uh, Tom Thibodeau. We got a lot to unpack. Go ahead. Either way, Mike. Um, the Knicks. Let's see. First of all, let me start off by apologizing because I didn't think Tom Thibodeau was going to work. I mean, it's still Tom, but it worked. I mean, shout out to this guy. Yeah. This guy right here. Said, I mean, I didn't believe in him. I mean, I called it. When somebody lose him, I called Fisdale. I hit that one right in the eye, right in the head. Right about that one. Damn. But uh, shout out. So I'm apologize, New York Knicks faithful. First thing, do not. I know as much as they want to overpay Derrick Rose, please don't overpay Derrick Rose. Please, please don't overpay Derrick Rose. Next, Julius Randle. I mean, it was his first playoffs. So, you know, it happens. I mean, if it happens again, then you know, all right, he's a habitual line stepper. But other than that, he had a great season. Sometimes it just don't translate. Sometimes you have a rough playoff. The atmosphere is different. Trey Young, shout out to him. He definitely got his Reggie Miller on. He made the guard and hate him out there taking bows and all that. And I respect it because you was winning, you know? So when you lose, you be ready. So I actually thought the Knicks could have won that going in, but it just it just didn't happen. RJ Barrett. In. Yeah, I mean, and some of them games they lost, it was way closer. Like compared to having your best player have his worst stretch of the season and you only lost a couple of games about like four or five points. That mean when he on and y'all locked in, it's gonna be a whole different team. Knicks just gotta make a couple signings, figure out what they're gonna do at center. Cause Nerlens is cool for what he's good for. He's a cool stop gap, but I don't think he's nobody franchise big. But they didn't have Mitchell Robinson, so you gotta remember Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, was hurt Mitchell was hurt, but him and Tibbs was kind of having a little bit of confusion too. Cause some nights he want to start him, some nights he want to start Todd Gibson. That's another thing. Taj Gibson should not have been out there starting. I don't give a damn. That's a What's fact. That that is Taj Gibson. Yo, shout out to Taj Gibson. Like, Ta- shout out to Taj. No, he tried. He had no business he, he out there. Just effort. like AD. Just like AD last night. He had no business out there. But One hundred percent right, Mike. Taj, he, Gibson, Taj Gibson had no business out there being the starter. Cooked. Go ahead. Out there getting cooked. Capella catching alleys and all types of crazy shit. Capella was just, cooking. Just the Knicks got a good foundation. They just got to figure out what they got, what they're gonna do at point guard, and figure out what they're gonna do at big. I kind of like Reggie Bullock. What's his name? The Dread. Reggie Bullock. Yeah. I kind of, I respect that. He really turned it up compared to like his other stops in the league. The boy, so he, the Knicks, he can shoot. If he's a wide open, with no, he don't have to do no dribbling. In this league, that's all you need. He can shoot. Forty percent, a, a little bit of defense. That's Forty percent, right. a little bit of defense. He he's a keeper though. I, I like Bullock. So the Knicks might have found a gem. They just. Point guard and big, and good luck to the Hawks because they're going to get smacked in the next round. I don't care who they're playing. There's no team in the next round that they could possibly think about beating. Well, Mike, that's that's a little harsh, man, but I'll get back to you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
the New York Knickerbockers. First of all, shout out to the regular season. Tom Thibodeau, you did a, a tremendous job. I was, I'm like Mike, I have to give you your flowers for what you did for one year. Um, but one year, one nonetheless, year. you turned it around. Um, as a Nick fan, look, look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna display my pain tonight, man. As a Nick fan, God, talk to us. Man. Going talk. through, going through all these years of just not even being relevant, not not even wanting to talk New York basketball and all this other stuff, being the, almost like the Kwame Brown, being the butt of jokes for so many years. Yeah, to see game one and to see the crowd as electric as any other place on the face of the earth is the reason why New York will always be the Mecca. We may not have won a championship and I don't even want to pull that number up, but it's that is for the love of the game, not saying that nowhere else doesn't love the game. It's just different in New York. And you've seen it at the garden and the players know that too. Anyway, um, we have a lot of, we, we, the Nick, I'm, I'm saying we like I'm part of the team, but the Knicks have a lot of um, looking in the mirror to do. They have to figure out what their roles are. Mm-hmm. I like Randall. I like, I've seen him when I follow him when he was with, uh, with the Lakers and he has made leaps and bounds. Um, he's way better than what he was. Of 100%. Course, um, 100%. Then, okay. Mm-hmm. But that performance left a very, very bad taste and not only my mouth, but in a lot of Knicks fans' mouths all across, all across the country, or even worldwide, whatever. Um, in my opinion, I have a feeling that they're going to give him max money. I wouldn't do it. Who am I? Was I? I was going to ask you that. Um, that. I wouldn't do it. Me, uh, me and D talked about this. Um, I would give him a one year. If you want to give him, if you want to give him 25, 30 mil for one year, do it one year. I'm not signing you to five, six years for 305 trillion dollars. And then you do exactly what you did in the playoffs for all five, six of them years. No, you have to earn it. I, I'm, we talk about it on this show. Guys that play phenomenally for one year, they go get the bag. And they stand tall at the ATM and they get talked about here on the Sports Chasers podcast in the Wells. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just wouldn't do it. And, mm-hmm. I, and it's not a knock against his game. It's just, it's, it's the timing of it. You only did it for one year, dog. I, I don't think you deserve, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't uh-huh. think you deserve a max contract, but I do think that that is a direction that they're going because they don't want to lose them. Okay, fine. Uh-huh. However, I think that's fair. What though. you, what you going to do around them? To me, Randall is not a number one. He may be a two. He and and with a Batman or Robin and a and a Nightwing, he may be Nightwing. I, that's, just, whoa, that's just whoa, that's just my whoa. opinion. <laughs> Go ahead, is, Mike. What's up? Is he is he a Batman? Where is Kevin at? Y'all <laughs> y'all boys is wilding. What are you talking about? Explain. Yo, Batman. Yo, Batman had to be Batman. Batman wasn't. It wasn't Batman from day one. Bane broke his back. You feel me? Okay. I understand the Joker that. killed the Joker knocked out <laughs> one of them robbers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get okay. it. It was one player. I'm, I'm, if he exactly, do it again, I'm I'm basing if he, it off if he one do it player. again. Listen, if he do it again, I agree with you. If he do the look, LeBron didn't make the playoffs his first two years in the league. You feel me? So the playoffs is just different. Look at Chris Ball. Chris Paul. Look, Wait, sir. Top hold on. Let's not wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, sir. Hold on, D. Hold on, D. Let's not act like this is this is uh this is Randall's first year in the league. He's twenty six. He this is his what right. sixth, seventh year. Come on now. Come on now. And I get it. Look, look, look. This is his first year. This is a lot of these guys' first year. I get it. I'm not trying to jump out the gym and say, "Oh, get rid of him." I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is, I wouldn't give him max money, and I do not think James E. Warren does not think that he is a true number one. That's all, and that's it. So, he cannot, and this is part of Tibbs coaching too. I'm sorry, Mike, I'm, I'm going I'm to say this. I'm going to shut up. This is part of Tibbs coaching too, okay? Because there is no way in the world how, if if this is Batman, Batman should know how to deal with a double team. He did not know what to do at all in the paint. Once Capella started sending them shots back down his throat, 
he did not want to go at him whatsoever. And that's when you see him jumping in the air like a damsel in distress, trying to get rid of the ball like he's a point guard. No, we do. We did not bring you here for you to pass all over the place. We dump the ball into you and you get buckets. That's that's what you're here for. That's what you did all year long. Don't change up now. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead, Mike. I think just give us some more time. I think Julius Randle need one more, one more year to put it all together. And RJ Barrett too. He needs some more time too. Yeah, I, I, I agree with because that. like, well, look who his number two is. You feel me? That's your number two. You gotta do so much more extra. He just needs some more time, honestly. I uh, I a good show for the oh, Knicks. And, good job. And one one other thing, can I Go ask ahead, y'all, e. gentlemen? Because I know y'all watch the games like I well, I watch highlights some of them. Um, what happened to the New York Knicks defense in the playoffs? Oh, uh, I'm going to answer that. Uh, good point, Mike. Good point, E. I think both of y'all guys, as far as payment to Julius Randle, I'm going to get to your question. Payment to Julius Randle, I don't think, no, I don't think that they're going to give him max deal, max money. He's have to, he has to run it back because of the performance he had during the playoffs. The performance during the playoffs was awful. I, I don't think nobody disagrees with what we've seen and what we was expecting. Um, we've seen something totally different in the playoffs than what we've seen in the regular season. So he's going to have to run that back. He messed up on that. So I, uh, as far as him, he has to run that back. And if they decide not to give him a little bit of money, you know, he, he, had, he did that to himself because he's messed up his money. This his time to shine was during the playoff. If I guarantee you, if he would have sent it to Game Seven and, and played inspired basketball, they I would think they would have no problem giving him the money. Now going back to the defense, the defense of the New York Knicks, I think everything went away when they got when they first when they can't hit shots, and then when Atlanta starts smacking them around, and I think they started feeling the pressure. The pressure was real. When Capella is dunking and flying all over the place, you got Hunter hitting shots. I mean, Collins, Collins hitting, everybody hitting shots. Trey Young hitting from the logo. Bogdanovich, yo. Bogdanovich. He got hot and was. I think they, I, I think Atlanta broke him. That, I mean, really, speak, speaking of broken back, talk about Bane, I think that Atlanta really broke them, man. They broke their they spirit. They broke the their Knicks. spirit. Right. And, and the Knicks could not get right, man. You you seen Julius Randle jumping up in the air, doing stuff that he wasn't doing. And if he did do, he he was actually making the pass. And, and, and you know, somebody actually caught the ball. Not throwing it out the stands and, and doing all crazy stuff that he was not doing during the regular season. So, um, that being that, with the defense... The spirit was broken, and Tom Tibbs did not make. I think he, I think he gave up on his guys too fast and started with this lesser lineup because he just went away from uh, Alfred Payton. Alfred Payton, even though I know Alfred Payton, I know he was doing bad coming into the coming into the series. I understand that, but I think when you switch you switch your lineup up, you got your twenty points for Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is your only guy giving you points. Now, when you flip-flop it and make him the starter, Derrick Rose ain't got nothing for you. He is gassed out. And then you He's don't have nothing off the bench either. Now you, and now you got Julius Randle, who's not hitting nothing. He ain't giving you nothing. You had you had good play from Alec Burke. That's Alec Burke. Is that correct? Alec yes. Burke, right? Yes, sir. You had, good, you, had, you had a good game coming from him. But these are the guys, yo, man, you're you not getting that – that point production from your main guy, that becomes a problem and it, the stress and you can feel it. it. I mean, even, I mean, you look at Randall, Randall don't even want to take the shot. You, I'm screaming at the TV, take the shot. You can see, you got the shot in motion. He, he's, he's hesitating. He's faking. He's doing Anthony Mason stuff, like the pump faking and all this other stuff. Just go up and just, just do what you do. And you've seen all of that. You've seen, all of that. And then you got this guy, even you got this guy shooting. <laughs> Yo, when Steph Curry was shooting and it just goes in from half court, you just looking at this guy like, what am I supposed to do with this? From 30 feet out, what am I supposed to do with this? And it goes in. It's not like, 
you know, he's shooting and it might, it may, may not. No, if he shoot from that, I, honestly, you know, it could go in. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? So when you get, and he's hitting these shots, man, the Knicks was just broken at the time. And, you know, I knew they was game five, they was going to pack it in. Um, as you see that the, the performance, Trey Young played awesome, man. He played a good game, even though, I mean, that last game, he didn't shoot that well, but, um, you know, everybody else came to play. So I, I, I think that, uh, I, I didn't think, I knew Atlanta was okay. There was comparison to the Knicks because I watched them during the year, but with that Trey Young, that Trey Young um, experience and the factor that elevates them up, you know, just a little bit, especially above the Knicks. So, you know, when and, you got that type of guy. I think and, you also have to factor in the Nate, Nate McMillan factor as well, because when he came absolutely. in, um, he totally changed the way that Trey Young was playing. Trey Young was in the first part of the season. You know, he was he was he was Steph Curry in it. You know what I'm saying? He was cooking from the logo and all this other stuff. Mind he you, him Atlanta, understand. Atlanta was playing like trash. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, Atlanta was yeah. playing like trash first part of the season. If anybody didn't coach know, coach got fired. Coach got yeah. fired. Go ahead. He made him understand, yo, you 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 could be a true asset to the team by not just standing out behind this three point line. You go out here and do this pick and roll. Who's gonna stop you? Mm -hmm. You can throw the lob. You you're a passer as well. You're a pretty good damn passer. So just, they have I, to respect your game, and that is one thing. Trey Young, shout outs to you because I said Knicks in five. I had no idea. I was going off the soul. Um, experience of watching my Knicks play defense all year. That was the only reason why I said that. Because the Knicks, when they play defense, play defense better than everybody in the league, and they did not do that for the reasons that we just said on this panel. And mind you, Atlanta was number one. I just seen a stat. Number one in pick and rolls. I think they're number one team in pick and roll. Yeah, shout out to Nate McMillan. Because I said on here, he shouldn't have got fired in Indiana. I agree. He got fired, went to Atlanta, and then look. Like, come on. Come on. And look at Indiana now. Right. Look at Indiana. It was clear as day. Yeah. I thought I always thought Nick McMillan was a um is a good coach. And uh, I don't know why it didn't work out for uh, him, but to see him in Atlanta, he probably it's probably a good fit for him in Atlanta anyway. So it probably I was, it panned I out for this, him. I will say this too, Mike. I know you you kind of dismiss Atlanta in the next round. But if uh, Embiid is a no-go, you're going to have to re 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 rely on Dwight Howard against Clint Capella night in and night out and John Collins and all them boys. Now, I, I, I don't will think say it... Ben Simmons, that's going to be an interesting – it's going to be real interesting to see if Ben Simmons is going to be on Trey Young. If, I think that's going to turn the tide for him. If Embiid is 100, he is going to whoop they ass. There is a... Capella play defense. <laughs> I'm not yeah. knocking Capella because Capella played defense. I actually wanted Capella to go to Boston because Capella played defense. But Capella is not locking up. Especially because MB taking things like from the circle, he's dribbling now. And man, no. No, 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 no. But that's a big if. If if he's there, <clears> then yeah, I, 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 I'll go with Philly wholeheartedly. But if he's not able to go at all in this series, yeah, Atlanta going to give him problems. You got to understand, Atlanta – has length. That's one thing I didn't realize either. You got DeAndre Hunter. You got even even yeah. Hoiter, whatever is it, Hoiter, Hoiter, Hoiter. Yeah, them yeah. boys are long, man. They their yeah. arms, they they all over the place. And they're they, very, and they all can shoot. Yeah, Gallo Bogdanovich. Yeah, them, yeah. yeah they got. <laughs> and you got and you got multiple. Yeah. You got multiple ball handlers too. Mm -hmm. so, that makes a difference, man. It made a difference, and um. Uh, you could tell that when the Knicks, the Knicks don't have that many other than Randall is in Randall's hand. They did a whole bunch of isolation and stuff like that. Is uh, listen uh, again. Shout out to Atlanta for doing it. You know they go on to meet uh, Philadelphia. That's going to be a good series. Philadelphia got rid of Washington uh, in six, I believe. It's six. Yeah. Um, no, actually, they got five. them in five. In five. five. They got rid of them in five. So, you know. Um, Free Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill. Yo, man. I, I, you know, I feel for Shout him. out to Bradley Bill because he, yeah. he showed up. I don't know what that he's, other guy did. I mean, he's definitely, I, he's definitely I a good player. <laughs> no disrespect to Westbrook, 
because to me, he's a fan favorite because he shows up every night. He plays hard. I, I feel him on that. But again, when you're in this stratosphere of being a superstar, you have to show up in the playoffs. And for whatever reason, whatever team that he's on, they go home earlier than expected. And mm-hmm. honestly, Washington, shout out to them for even getting into the playoffs. I, I will say that. Shout out to them for doing that. But where do you go from there? Shouldn't have been there. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, so you got Atlanta and Philly. Um, you got Brooklyn and the Celtics. Brooklyn versus the Celtics. Oh, I got, before I get to them, um, the, the Knicks, as far as, um, uh, Booker got to get better. Not Booker. Um, RJ Barrett, excuse me. RJ Barrett has to get better. Uh, they're going to retool. I think I just don't want them to, again, if we've been, if we've been building like the way they've been building, we might as well stick with it. And again, this is what I think we, the New York fans like the way they put the team together organically, as opposed to just spending money because we've been that route and we haven't seen nothing. And we gone, we gone this route with just raising the young babies up. And even though we got to the playoffs, we, you know, we, we expect more because that's New York. That's what we do. We expect, you know, a little bit more. We want to, you know, we, we cocky. We, you know, that's just what we are. But with that being said, we might as well see the babies all the way out and raise the babies up and let them get to where they need to get to. And uh, add, add, add pieces here and there, here and there. And, you know, we we'll possibly could get to somewhere. Go ahead. As long as we raise the babies right. That's all I ask. Because sometimes we raise the babies wrong and the babies get out here in these streets <laughs> and the babies don't know how to act. You know what I'm raise saying? Raise the until, babies right. Until, you know what I'm saying? Until yeah, until they, right. get, they get to somewhere where they get mama's cooking and then they, they act right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's been too yeah. many times where... And I feel you on that. It's been too many times where we let guys go and they show up and it's like, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think Thibodeau too, he going to have to adjust and, and shout out to him again, because he took time off um, from his last coaching, yeah, coaching, coaching. gig yeah. Mm-hmm. and he came back and you can see he, he's not following them same principles. Mm-hmm. However, I need him to adapt again. Okay. Because yeah. he sure enough didn't adapt to Atlanta, but that's, I'm, I'm, I'm off that. I'm, um, I'm sure he's going to he's going to re, re reevaluate what he did wrong, what he has. But the Knicks just didn't have enough players and pieces to combat what Atlanta had. That's just the bottom line at the end of the day. And, um, you know, you know, shout outs to him. Hopefully, he'll, you know, Tibbs will get it right. You know, um, let, let me let me ask you a question real quick. Mm-hmm. Do you all think if Mitchell Robinson was 100 percent, do you think he changes? Does Does he help any? With, with uh, I, I believe he changes the 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 interior defense part of it as far as Trey Young because somebody had to say hey Trey can't get this deep into because he's he's throwing up these little floaters and they, he's making them so somebody has to you got to figure out how to stop him from getting penetrated and getting those little floaters off now I don't know we you know if a couple of blocks would changed it. Trey Young is good with the passing, so he he could have passed it off to uh, Capella, you know, all this other stuff. So you know, it it might have made a difference. I you know, I think uh, it wouldn't hurt. Right, it wouldn't have hurt. Mike got anything? In the okay, if if Mitchell Robinson was there, and the rest of the team played the way they was playing, wouldn't have made it. Uh, hell no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have nothing. They might have went to six. That's about it. It wouldn't have went no further. <laughs> I, I feel you on that. The yeah, team play terrible. I feel you on right that. But hey, uh, that's uh, that's it for the Knicks. Um, Knicks is going on vacation. Uh, they hopefully they'll retool. Uh, our next uh, New York team, the Brooklyn uh, Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics. I'm gonna go real quick on this because it, it was uh, Brandon. Uh, what is it, Mr. Tatum, who had 50 points? Superstar. He, he did it. He did. He did. He had one good game, but he he needed more. He need now. If you want to talk about somebody who needs, he needed more people. He needed more. That's he needed more. He it, there's no way in the world he could he could go against this 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 mega uh, Megatron team of of the Brooklyn Nets with KD, Kyrie, and Harden together. Man, these guys are these guys are it. 
So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the Celtics and the Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn got them out of here in five. It's another another five series got them out of here, and they will go on to meet the Milwaukee Bucks, who got the Miami Heat out of here in four. Now that's one. That was these are uh, between the Lakers and the Miami Heat. These were the, the two. Uh, finalists of last year's NBA Finals, and both of them got out of here or out of here in the first round. So, with that being said, we're looking forward to this Brooklyn Milwaukee matchup that will start, I believe, Saturday night in Brooklyn. If I'm no, yeah, in Brooklyn. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's in Brooklyn because, uh, yeah, it's in definitely in Brooklyn. What what say you guys, man? What what are you, what are you expecting out of this these two teams here? I just want to say first, real quick, I know a lot of people, I know LeBron alluded to it, you know, um, being that, you know, the Lakers and the Heat, you know, being that they was in the finals and they had the quick turnaround, this and that, the third look. I understand all of that. However, I'm going to say this. I feel like it is still up to the coaching staff to delegate minutes correctly. You have a 14 or 15 man roster. Mm -hmm. I think it's 14. You, know, mm -hmm. cool. um, you have these guys on the team for a reason. It's not just because you had to sign them. Obviously, mm -hmm. they made the team because they were good enough. Right. My thing is you should – each team – excuse me. Each team should have used all 14 guys during the regular season, okay? And so you can not only – save your main guys but you That's can build up players. confidence mm -hmm. in the guys you know nine through 14 just in case if ad or jimmy butler or whoever goes down that's 15 right. yeah 15. 15 okay 15 yeah. so i mean i mean just because you had to work look i gotta go to work too you know what i'm saying i mean it's up to management to delegate these minutes to make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be and all this other stuff and also not to um not to run your guys into the ground. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. If, if your guys are tired, how are you going to get tip-top performance out of them? I mean, come on, man. That's, that's crazy. I yeah. never understood out of all these years watching basketball, Larry Brown was the first one that I can think of. Okay, the great Larry Brown. Okay, if y'all don't know him, look him up. He coached everywhere. Mm -hmm. Indiana, uh, I believe he coached in New York too, right? Yeah. Philadelphia, yeah, yeah. Um, down in the college ranks, all of that. Okay? Yeah, he had to stop in New York for a minute. Um, I will never understand why you have, a, I think then it was 14, mm -hmm. but you have multiple guys on this roster and you get to the playoffs and you only run eight or nine guys. That makes absolutely no sense to me. But right. who am I? I'm just a guy that does podcasts and they make millions of dollars. It's okay, though. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm at peace. <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's all good, man. But uh, this Brooklyn Milwaukee series, I mean, I think they are, they are. Both teams are, uh, how you say, match matches up well. I think, um, I think Milwaukee's. I think my personal opinion. I think Milwaukee's going to give Brooklyn a, a a run for the money and might go seven games here. I think I'm thinking seven. I'm pulling for Brooklyn because you know that's my borough. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. You know, Knicks on my 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 team. I think Milwaukee, Giannis. Uh, I think we forget. I think we tend to forget about these players, man. You know, we go, it's like little shiny objects, man. We go, we see one player, oh, we like him. And then we go mess with this guy and then go with, you know, we see, yo, I think Giannis, Giannis has been one who's been true. He's been true with Milwaukee Bucks. He said he didn't want to talk about the contract. He stayed with the team, kind of sort of like um, Dame Lillard. And I'm going to talk about Dame in a minute. Um, he committed to Milwaukee. Didn't want to go nowhere. Milwaukee in return got him some pieces, and we're going to see. We're going to see. You know. You know. I think it's it's a lot of pressure on Brooklyn to to make this happen. Brooklyn, if if they don't get to to the finals and win the chip, because I, I mean now that LeBron is gone, Brooklyn becomes absolutely the favorites. I don't care what's going on with Utah. Utah is good. They, they they look good. They had a good record, but it's, it's it's Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn or nothing, and that's what it is. You guys, what you think? Um, what you think about the series? Real quick, 
Mike, got it. So, so my Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Milwaukee. Yeah, I'm going Brooklyn in six. I would have said Milwaukee in seven, but DiVincenzo just went down, and that's going to be a big injury because he he mans the two spot. He get him good minutes. He get him a little playmaking. Get him some scoring. Mm-hmm. I did. For, yeah, he did go down. Go ahead. But otherwise, I mean, it should be interesting. It ain't going to be a beat down either way. No. Because Milwaukee do got a lot of lengthy defenders. Everybody's healthy for the most part, so DiVincenzo, of course. And then they got some good scores with the bench. They got Forbes, who I didn't even know he was there. I thought he was still in Sacramento somewhere, buried on the bench. Mm-hmm. So they got they got some pieces. And on Brooklyn, like last round, everybody knew Boston didn't have a snowball's chance in hell. Mm-hmm. Everybody was hurt. It was just Tatum and Marcus Smart running around flopping and throwing arms all over the place mm-hmm. and they just just wasn't it so you know milwaukee should be a much better series but i don't think milwaukee's gonna beat them but if they do it'll be it'll, it won't be surprising if they happen to beat them but it'll it'll be a good matchup a good series okay yeah that that's that's all i that's all i want to see um is a good um good series yeah i think if you look at it down the line i think I don't want to say they cancel each other out, but being that they the, they the main dogs on each team, you got KD and you got Giannis. It's crazy because you have two different styles, two different entities. You got this killer of a shooter, and then you got this killer of a driver of the bat uh, to the basket. It's it's going to be fun to watch. Um, Drew Holiday is going to have um, the time of his life because. Kyrie plays no, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to say Kyrie plays on defense, but Kyrie is not able to play no defense on a guy that's just as quick as him. Mm-hmm. Uh, may not have the handles, but he's quick. Mm-hmm. And then you have, um, you have um, Middleton and you got Harden. It, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of X factors, man. But I think if they get Joey Buckets going and it's like Mike said, you got Forbes and you got all these other guys that you are really starting to see them show up and show out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be very interesting, man. I hope that it goes seven games. And and just to be clear, is Jeff Green is he uh, has he returned back to the Nets? Because I heard he was uh, a little yeah, he's banged been up. Banged up, yeah. yeah. I don't know if um, and he and believe me, yo, he's a very important part to the Nets. Um, you know, he does all the other stuff that you know. When you got teams like this, you need role players and you need guys like him, and he takes it he takes care of the load on the other, other things that other people don't do. So um, shout out to Jeff Green. Uh, on, another, on another note, I don't know if we got, uh, I'm trying to get through some of these teams before we got. Uh, you got to talk about Luca and the Clippers, dog. Yeah, gotta... I'm going to get to them. I'm going to, I'm going to leave them in last because that's the, that's a game that's about to go on in about next uh, 12, 10 minutes. And we're going to get on out of here in a little bit. Philadelphia and the Hawks. Did we did we get that? Did we get your predictions on that? What do you say? Say, uh, Mike. Uh, Philly and six. Philly I and six. I, I think I think Philly and six. Philly it's and not six. Not gonna be no cakewalk. And with it with it, with, but... with Embiid or without Embiid. Or... That's that's without Embiid. With that's Embiid, with... um, I I got him in five. Yeah. Five. Okay. five. <laughs> Four and a uh, half. Of course, you have If top. he's close to one hundred percent, if he's out there bumming around like AD, then. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, well, he 105. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm going to say Philadelphia. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked because uh, if Atlanta's shooting continues and they're hot like what we've seen, but I don't think it's going to continue. They're going to run into another animal. Philadelphia is crazy. i say Philly in six. With that being said, we're going to go. Let me, let me, let's jump. Real quick, um, Denver got Portland out of here. Uh, I feel sorry for my man, Dame Lillard, but, you know, I respect him because he wanted to stay in Portland. However, if he decides that he doesn't want to stay in Portland, I'm not mad at him either, and nor should anybody else, just because he has the right to change his mind. It's his career. Uh, Dame Lillard is well-respected in the game. I would, of course, the Knicks is in need of a point guard. Would I, I would love to see him home, but you know, I know that that's a little far fetched. However, um, Denver is moving right along. Look, I, if we talk about injuries, 
they lost a major part in uh what's my man's name um Jamal Murray Jamal Murray but that that Michael Porter Jr guy shout out to DA cuz he's Woo. been talking about him for the last 2 years my god this dude right here yo he's going to continue to get better uh you guys what say you guys Denver Phoenix what you got Mike you good Denver and Phoenix mm -hmm. Uh, as much as I like Denver, and as much as I'm enjoying Phoenix, I would have to go Phoenix and seven. I'm going Phoenix and seven. Because mm -hmm. Joker ain't no slouch. And Phoenix is playing the spire right now. So as long as Chris Paul stay healthy, then they good money. But if he go down... Well, I think they beat their tallest task if he go down, honestly. I think he could be, they could beat the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Especially the way Cameron Payne been playing, but I'm gonna go Phoenix and seven. Yeah, I I agree. Um, I don't I don't think that. Well, I thought this in the last round too. I don't think that Denver has enough in the backcourt to get it done. Um, I said that against Portland, <laughs> and I, Portland just can't stop nobody. They 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 they're kind of like Brooklyn in a sense. Um, you got all these guys that can score. I mean, of course, Brooklyn outweighs um, Phoenix top, you know, they're top heavy. Mm -hmm. But they, they have the same kind of uh, ideology on offense. Like, they just score at will, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. um, I think if Chris Paul is healthy, I will have – because I don't know the extent of, his, of, of that shoulder. I don't know if it's something that he needs to – um, just take a shot and he'll be good to go or it's something that he needs to rest it. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, if he's healthy, I got Phoenix and six. If he's not, then I, I think Devin, I, I got to go with book now. Um, I, book and um, Phoenix and seven. I think he's on a mission. Um, he's playing at a level higher than, I mean, for him to be, if I'm not mistaken, Booker is what, 23. Yeah. He's young. Yeah. He's, yeah, um, he's a young gunner. Um, Yo, I, I love to see guys. It's almost like the movie The Matrix when Neo re realized that he was the one. That that's that's exactly what we're saying out of Devin Booker right now. So mm -hmm. I'm all for it. But I got Phoenix either way. Phoenix, both of y'all got Phoenix. Man, yo, you know it's this is a hard one. I I like Phoenix. Not wouldn't be surprised if Denver pulls it out here. That the series is going seven. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Phoenix. Uh, shout out to the Utah Jazz. Uh, mm. Utah Jazz got. Oh, we forgot about them. Uh, Memphis out of here. Yeah, yeah, Memphis. John Morant. Those boys. Uh, they will be back. Uh, this is the second time they made it to the. the second time they made it to the playoffs. Is that correct? Uh, nah, they lost in the playoffs. They, 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 they lost, lost in, 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 in that bubble. bubble. They got they robbed. Let's keep it hundred. They got robbed. Okay. All right, yeah. all right. We'll give, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you that. But Utah, but you can see the. You can see the the level the progression. The, that they, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Utah. Shout out to uh, Spider. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is special. Watch out for this guy. Um, I think Utah is nothing to to slight. Whoever they get with uh, moving on to our last game, which is. Uh, Dallas and the Los Angeles Clippers, the only LA team that's <laughs> that's that's out there right now. Uh, for the time being. For the time being. And this is a home is this is a home game for Dallas tonight. That is correct. Mm -hmm. This is game and six no, tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. So nobody has been nobody has is nobody, nobody has, has won, won on their home floor. On the home floor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tonight you would until think, tonight. Yeah, until tonight, until you would think that the Clippers would come in here and win. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to be any any LA teams in the, in the in the playoffs this year. And I'm going with the, the to Dallas to wrap it up tonight. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't, why they can't. Um, the Clippers have not shown shown us enough, and I think that team is probably going to get blown up as well. What say you guys? Last game, what you say? Go ahead, Mike. Mike. If Luca keep getting Reggie Jackson on them switches, on that pick and roll. <laughs> Thank you. Then it's Thank over. you. 
It's Go over. Because he was doing it to him in the bubble. Oh, my God. In the God. bubble, he was hitting him with that. He was hitting him with that hot fire. He was pop, pop. He was oh, crazy. Him. And, and, and it's like, he got goggles, so he's with the garden better now. Stop letting Red. It is up. Like, if they was doing this in school, he would be suspended. Because he's beating the hell out of Reggie Jackson. On Yo, he's taking him. So he full advantage, but I ain't mad at him. He is taking full that. advantage. He's doing what he's what supposed, he's supposed to, be doing. to do. Yep. And that's how many times we see players not recognize what the mismatch is. You got a mismatch, take it. Right. Expose it. Keep on doing it. If they can't stop it, keep doing Barbecue it. Barbecue chicken. Like Barbecue Shaq chicken. Is Shaq. Is Barbecue is chicken. Name. Shout out to Shaq. E, we had that conversation about why is Luca being guarded by this guy all the time? <laughs> and Before I was like, was, yo. The first two games, it was Pat Beverly. Now they got Reggie Jackson on him. Like, he's, Ty, like he's Ty, 18 Ty Lue, inches Ty Lue, you don't, Ty Lue, you don't see what we see? Ty Lue, you don't see what we see. Ty Lue don't coach. He go, hey, run faster that way. Oh, run okay, faster okay. this way. I'm, I'm glad somebody else said it. E, e, I'm sorry. I've been saying it. E, I'm I've sorry. Been. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. E, go uh, ahead. Um, up in thought. February, I could talk about black people. He needs uh, a coach brother. <laughs> Yo, I think I think it's over tonight, man. Um, I think along with Luca, Luca's gonna have his normal numbers. He's gonna have thirty and ten and nine or thirty eight. He may have a triple double. I think it's gonna be a, a Tim Hardaway Jr. Or Porzingis or somebody else is going to have a big, big game, and they're going to send LA home tonight. It's over. I, I feel you, man. I, I I'm totally agreeing with you guys, man. Uh, I I don't see it. Oh, Mike, I don't see no urgent. I'm sorry, D. I don't see no right. urgency from this team. Like, like it's like they have they know they have a long leash. Like, like, like they the Knicks. Like. Like your babies and you're growing up. No, you you guys are supposed to be already here. You supposed to be the superstars. You supposed to be playoff P. You're pandemic P now. You mm. know what I'm saying? Hey, and, and, pandemic and, and, P. And 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 and, 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 Fire. and um, what's my man name? Um, Kawhi. Kawhi virus. Uh, Leonard. <laughs> Yo, you you y'all gotta tighten up, man. You are the leaders of this team. Okay, obviously I'm the glad you're not doing it. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. You just said the leaders of the team. As I watch this team, I don't see the leaders. I don't see, I don't see who's that guy. You got two. I don't see who that guy. It might be Honestly, Paul George, but I don't see the, it. The Go Clippers ahead. remind me of that team that you run into in the park that be beating people, but they just not as good as they supposed to be. It's like they don't have no leader. They don't have no followers. Just mm -hmm. they just there. They just there. Like they all the dudes that can hoop, but don't like know they how good. To they they're really good. Like, but, like yo. Why but I don't, are y'all not going nowhere? I don't know. Right. Like they like they they missing something. They this I don't you, you know what it, it could is? be coaching. You know what it is? Okay. They have what both of y'all watch basketball. What is the one thing that you can say about the Clippers? What is what what is the one thing when you see the Clippers play? What is the one thing you can say, you know what, they do that very well? I'll wait. I, I say they beat the Clippers. <laughs> yeah, they they they, they have no identity. It's no identity. They very they very good at being and, the Clippers. And and, and that's <laughs> that's one that's one of the reasons why uh, you know we keep on hearing it with the Clippers is that yo you keep on playing in your in your little your big brother's uh uh house you know it's it's time to you guys y'all need to go somewhere else and get your own get your own stuff you know what I'm saying you know it's time for you to stop asking for sugar next door. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to go to work, get your own place, get out, and go get your own stuff. Hope it's you're Paul George. It's yeah. Julius Randle's a Nightwing. Is Paul George a Nightwing? Or he's still a Batman? Paul George I, is never Batman. Exactly. Paul George, I, I, Paul I, George I, right now. I'm let sorry. Me tell you I'm I don't sorry. know if it's Paul right. George or or Kawhi Leonard. They yeah. look like they look like the Teen Titans right now. They're not even on yeah. on DC level. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something, Mike. I ain't never been on that timeline with with Paul George. I, I and Paul George, he's a good he's a good player, even with Indiana. Yo, those he, was his best days, in my opinion. Those were his best days, and he he never. I, I don't think he ever reached where he was supposed to reach. It's kind of like <laughs> he kind of reminds me of uh, my main my main man uh, Wale. Man, he just never reached that. That potential where he should he should have been at, man. That that's to me. I I that's that's my opinion. I you know, um, that's a good one. I don't know. I don't know. But what I see tonight tonight, I don't. 
I don't see them moving on again. I, I think they're gonna blow. They're gonna end up blowing that whole that whole situation up, and you know, but um, you know, I I I got no more. I think Luca's gonna move on, and they meet. They'll meet Utah, and we'll cross That's that bridge when. We, too. Yeah, we'll That's cross that bridge when we get going there. On, on that one. Yeah, definitely. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yo, fellas, hey, one hell of a show. I believe um, even without our, our main moderator, I think he's going to be proud. <laughs> the moderator. The rabbit got the gun. We don't care if you're proud or That's not. Right. Gang, That's gang. Right. Right. Gang, gang. Bang, gang, bang. Gang. <laughs> Throw them foes. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. Hey, Mike, where can we be found at, bro? Got to put you on spot. Found. A little bit, but we could be found. <laughs> Anywhere podcasts can be found, whether that go. be Spotify, whether that be Apple. You can you find go. us on Instagram at Sports Chasers Podcast. Find uh-huh. us on Twitter at Sports Chasers Podcast. And if you like Facebook, we up there too. Same name, same everything, same identity. Unified, one band, one sound. We on YouTube as well. Yeah, boy. Hey, Jay, any parting shots for us tonight? Yo, man. Great, great show. Shout out to, to my man, D.A., Hope everything yeah. is good, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shout out to better. our moderator. We miss you guys, but you know, we held it down. Yeah, we think we saying? did a good job tonight. Yeah, we did an outstanding job. You know what I'm saying? But you people let us know. Dudes. There you, you know go. What I'm saying? That's, that's right. Um, Parting shots, nothing heavy. You know, as always, man, look out for your fellow man, one man, and child. You know what I'm saying? Go White Sox, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was talking all gangster. You know, when we got swept by the Yankees. What the ah, Yankees man. done now? Ah, man. What, what yeah, has we'll... the Yankees done since then? Amen. Amen. You lost to the Rays. You lost to the Jays. Hey, you amen. lost to the Bays. You lost to the Mays. <laughs> you don't lost to everybody that, that rhymes with me. Hey, hey, bro. We, we, we speed it through all that all right tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, bro. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? You're part of the shots. All right. God bless you, brother. You have a good night. Hey, Mike, any part of the shout for you? Um, I want to say shout out to the... Music clause I got on my contract, so that means when it's time for me to go do music, that I step away. But because I host a moderator, won't take time off. I appear, so shout out to him. <laughs> shout out to the brand we love and trust. All Saturday, right. Saturday, Saturday. You know, shout out to them. Sure. Um, shout out to my brother, the No Love Czar, on the New York Knicks gaming team. Right. They playing tonight. They about to play the Nets. They two and two on the season. Let's hope they get that win. Let's break that five hundred. And shout and. That they're live on Twitch and YouTube. Twitch and shout out to myself. Shout out to me. I'm tooting my own horn real quick. Talk talk that talk. My video, my video for Go is available right now on YouTube. Mm -hmm. The song, the EP is out. You already know that. And co-starring our own D Dub, who's live and full effect in our new Sports Chases merchandise. Check Check us out. Check us out in the video too. And that's my part shots for the night. Yo, my part in shots is everybody treat one another with some what? Respect, respect, earn, demand, command, all that. Um, that's my part in shots. Yo, from all of us here tonight, we enjoyed you guys. Uh, we hope you ch- uh, search for us, look for us, and uh, you know, like us, share us. Um, Tell us what you think, what you don't think, what you don't like, whatever it is. You know, love us or hate us. We we want to hear it all. So from my man, J-Dub, Mike Milley, and myself, D-Dub, we are out tonight. Yo, you guys have a good night. Peace.